This tutorial will teach you how to install Tux and get started building basic experiments. Over the course of this tutorial, we'll create a simple experiment where we manipulate a few variables, collect user responses, and output results to a file. Here's a quick demonstration of the finished product. The participant must resize the colored object to match the white object, and then hit spacebar. And it loops through a series of trials where it adjusts the size and the distance of the object to match to. And it collects how close the user is in matching the trial. And if we go over to the view, we can see that it's looping through all the trials. And right here, it's recording the selected size that we picked. So it's a very basic experiment, but it should be enough to get us going. In the first part of the series, we'll create and set up a new experiment. So let's get started. So in Unity Hub, we're going to create a new project. I'll name it Tutorial Project. And I'll save it on my desktop. Okay, so once the project gets created by Unity and it opens up, there's a few settings that we have to adjust. The first one is which version of .NET we're targeting so that we can use more modern coding features. So we'll go from the Edit menu and we'll go down to Project Settings. We'll click on Player. We'll go down to Other Settings and then we'll scroll all the way down to API compatibility level, and we'll choose .NET 4.0, the more modern one. Okay, and then we'll close this off. And then the second thing we need to do is update our TextMesh Pro installation. The one that comes with Unity by default at the time of writing is full of bugs that change the alignment of user interface elements. So we're going to use a preview build um, that's going to fix those bugs. So we open up the package manager. We have to go to advanced show preview packages. Now it's going to load and allow us to install preview packages. And we have to scroll down to text mesh pro. And we click the little arrow and we go to see all versions and now we can see the previews. And we're just going to pick the most recent preview that's version 2.1. In the future, this might be a real release. So we're going to go to update to 2.1 and wait for that to finish. Okay, and then that should be done. Okay, so now it says up to date. Um, and now we have all the settings required that we need to install BML Tux. So there's two ways to install BML Tux. The easy one is using this package manager. Um, so we're going to click the little plus sign here. We're going to go to add package from git URL. And now we have to type in the address of the package. Um, so that's https github.com slash biomotion lab slash tux dot git and then we have to tell it what version we need. So to find out what version to type here you probably want to use the most recent version. So on the main website for BML Tux you just go to install and then go down to installation and there should be a link to the releases page on GitHub right here. So if we just click that, it'll take us over to GitHub and we can see our the most recent release is 0 0.16.2. So we just remember those numbers and we go back over to Unity. And now after the 
hashtag number sign, we type 0 0.16.2. And just double check the spelling, and then we hit add. And now it's going to look like nothing's happening, but after a few seconds, a progress bar should appear. That will install the package for us. And the advantage of installing it through the package manager instead of through the older style Unity package is that um, it's easier to update and it can handle um, some more advanced features a little easier and you're less likely to break something inside the, the package. So we're going to do it that way. Okay, so it looks like it finished. So we're going to close the package manager. And now we should be able to see there's a new menu that appears here, BML Tux. And if we go down into our project hierarchy and open up the packages folder, there should be a new package in here. And if we look down in the console here, there's no errors, so everything looks like it installed properly. Okay, so now we ha still have just an empty scene with no experiments in it. So the first step now is to set up an experiment. And so we can go up to this new menu, BML Tux, and we'll pick the script helper tool. And this tool will generate all the scripts that we need for a basic experiment. So we'll name our experiment tutorial. And it tells you what it's gonna be creating and we'll click on automatically set everything up for me. After a few seconds, things should start appearing. Okay, so we can close this off. And so now in our scene, we see there's this new object called Tutorial Experiment Runner. And we have a few scripts and a design file that this um, tool created for us. That's gonna be how we modify our experiment and add our custom behavior to it. So let's check, check out this tutorial experiment runner game object that it created for us. So you can see it attached a script on it and it referenced those new scripts that it created. So if we look under script references, we can see that it has reference to a trial script that it created right here, a block script, which is also there, an experiment script, which is there, and then this experiment runner script, which is the main thing here. So let's open this experiment runner script up and see what's inside there. So I'm going to double click there and it's going to open up in my editor. And I use Writer, which I'm a huge fan of, but this will work fine in, in Visual Studio or Visual Studio Code or another C Sharp editor. Okay, so it's opening. Okay, so right now it's just an empty file. Um, so it has our tutorial experiment, so we named it tutorial, so it's added that in already. And we can see that it's extending this class experiment runner, which is one of the built-in uh, scripts inside of BML Tux. And so this is gonna be our main point of entry between our Unity scene and our experiment. Um, so any kind of references to other things in our scene we wanna put here. Um, but we'll cover that in more detail in the future. But now we have everything we need for a basic experiment. So we can hit play and it should pop up the runner screen. Um, it'll ask us to import the text mesh pro. So we just stop that and we say import. Just the first time you run it, it'll ask you this. Okay, that's done. So we can close it. Then we can hit play again. All right, great. And we should see this experiment session that just opened up. Um, right now, we, our experiment doesn't really do anything. So if we click Start Experiment or Debug here, you can see it says no trials defined. But that's what we'll set up in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching.